Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunamis Lure Company. It is great to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. I've got everyone's favorite boatless angler with me today, folks. I'm here with Antonio and I am super excited because today, folks, we're looking for that channel catfish bite. And I brought my bait pockets with me, size three and size five. I'm gonna open up with the size three because we've had a cold front move in last night. So I'm not sure how aggressive these catfish are gonna be. Uh, but I filled my bait pocket up with my cut bait mixture of cut bait, cut livers. It's a bloody mixture. I got it all here and I just filled my bait pocket up, cut the tag end off, put it on the hook. And when I put it on the hook, I leave some nice hook gap there for hook setting. So uh, the rig I'm running, it's the pre-tied T-turn bait rig for channel cats. Comes pre-tied, all I do is tie it on and snap on a sinker. Very, very convenient. And our boatless angler, you're in already, right Antonio? I'm in and ready for He's... The fish. <laughs> <laughs> and excited for catfish, right? Okay, so I'm gonna cast out here, hopefully a little bit away from you, but close enough that the water is really, really murky. So what we're hoping with these bait pockets that they're gonna release that scent, especially with this bloody mixture I've got with livers and whatnot, uh, release that scent and attract the catfish to our baits. Now we did bring also a sucker, right? We got a whole sucker that we could cut up, which is fresher, okay? Uh, we could cut that up as opposed to my pre-cut baits here, which I actually had in the freezer. So we have some fresh sucker that we can cut up or my cut up uh, mixture with with uh, livers and cut bait mixed up in there. So that's why I like these bait pockets is you can come up with your own bait mixture, whatever that might be, and stuff the bait pockets full and then uh, let them do their thing out there, release the scent and hopefully attract some fish. And that's what we're hoping for today. We're hoping to attract some fish. My drag is set relatively tight for the hook set. And now it's just a matter of these catfish being aggressive. What do you think, Antonio? I'm hoping. <laughs> yeah, I mean, cold front moved in, so it's hard to tell. But you know what? We've got good bait. We got a good day. I've got good company. Hopefully we'll get some good fishing. Stay tuned, folks. Fish on. The boatless angler has struck first. Yes. The advantage of having your line in the water, <laughs> hey? While you're doing an intro, I'm fishing. Hey, that's that's okay. The sooner you get your line in, the sooner your bait starts doing its job. Doing its job, right? Okay. Hopefully I think you you're gotta... right on the just the bloodiness and the scent with the bait pocket. Like that was that was really good. You think that's helped, eh? Well, for sure. Especially on a day like today. Now you got the size three bait pocket on as well? Size three. Size three. I've got the sinker slide. Okay, so you went with the Thundermist sinker slide. So Antonio's rig is a little different. He's got the Thundermist sinker slide on, probably a swivel. Swivel. Yeah. As your stop, and then down to a five odd hook. Five odd with 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Okay. Well, he's not that big. No. That's okay, right? Let's get the net out here. It's this cold water, they don't fight all that hard, eh? Yeah, the water's a bit cold this morning. Like I said, we had a cold front move in. The weather was great, and then, boom, we got a cold front moving in. It's been a crazy year this year for weather. <laughs> but it looks like the fish are still, oh, what do you say not too big? Are you kidding me? Is he big? <laughs> That's a know. nice channel cat. I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Good size? Yeah, there he is right there. Wow. Antonio, are you kidding? That's a good size channel. It's coming up now. Oh yes. Are you kidding me? That's a, that's a good fish. <laughs> oh my. Head first in the net, Antonio. I can't even see him for this water, how murky it is. But he is in the net. Wow. Oh, that's a heavy fish. Oh. <laughs> what you say? I don't think he's that big. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. First fish, so. Oh, my goodness. 
Okay, I'm gonna want you to hold this fish up, show the folks back home. Yeah. I'm gonna grab a photo for you. Oh, he's bigger than I thought. And if you want, we can get a weight on him. I think I brought a weigh scale. Sure. Yeah, I did. If you leave him in the net, here, grab a quick weight on him. Okay. Leave him in the net? Leave him in the net. There you go. Grab a quick weight on that fish. What, the net's a pound? The net is a pound. Eighteen and thirteen ounces. Eighteen thirds. So about an eighteen pounder. <laughs> okay, it's bigger than I thought. <laughs> you can, that's a great start. Eighteen pound channel. My oh, goodness. Yeah, right in the side of the mouth. Side of the mouth. Let's oh, take wow. a quick picture. Sure. Okay, quick photo. And wow, oh, that's a beast. Gotcha. That is a beautiful fish. Look at the colors on them. Wow, big channel cat, Antonio. Big channel cat. Holy. Whoa. <laughs> <He's gone. laughs> okay, let me see your rig. Sure. So Antonio's rig's a little different. With the sliding sinker rig, folks, what happens is the channel cats can pick up the bait. I see your bait pocket there. So there's his five odd hook in his bait pocket. And then he's got a Thundermas sinker slide. You can always tell a Thundermas slide with the camel green color and it's got a big sinker snap on there. And it just slides. So this uh, snap here, or this swivel, stops his sinker slide from going to his hook. And that's it. The catfish can pick up the bait. They don't detect the sinker and they can run away with the bait. That's the system that he's got there. And with that bait pocket, you could reuse it. Just dip it into the... Uh, Exactly what I was looking for. Well, you don't have to re-dip it. I mean, the, the bait's still relatively fresh, but why not add more scent yeah. just by dipping it back into your uh, your cup bait and just keep reusing it and use it over and over again. Time for another cast. Okay. Well, that was good. So cast. So there he goes. He's casting in the same spot. And the reason for that, folks, is he's already scented up that area. So now hoping for more catfish to come to that area. That's one of the keys. So... That is what I'm gonna say is a great start to our day right there, folks. Cold front didn't really matter, eh? It didn't. Wow, and how was the bite? To Did... be honest, it's yeah. not, it wasn't the typical catfish bite. It just took it, so we might be in for a good day. Okay, let's hope, let's hope. Okay, we're off to a great start. Antonio, Antonio. Bite? Antonio. Antonio! <laughs> 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 there we go. Oh man, not as aggressive as your bite, Antonio, but nice just the same. A nice direct hook set, folks. I'm running, I've got 20 pound braided line, and I should have mentioned the T turn bait rig. It's the 7B model, it's got 25 pound fluorocarbon line, so it's plenty, plenty strong for those bigger catfish, that's for sure. And of course, it also has a five odd hook. Now, there is also a model with a circle hook as well. I believe that's number 8B, if I'm not mistaken. But I went with a regular octopus, just style, just as Antonio has today. Feels like a decent fish. I don't think it's as big as the one you caught, Antonio. It's deceiving, though. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like to use braided line, folks, when I'm running live bait or cut bait or anything like that. Um, you get that nice direct hook set and of course the fluorocarbon line I don't think it, it's not as important for channel cat in this murky water but in the clear water it might make a difference he's coming Antonio so I'm just gonna lighten up on the drag just a tad oh yeah that's, that's a, a that's a good fish not as big as yours but decent decent channel cat folks now <laughs> it's funny fishing rod I'm using is six feet long, okay? It's a one piece, medium power, six foot long rod. And yours, Antonio, is? 12 foot. <laughs> 12, 12 foot, double the size of mine. <laughs> but you know what? It just goes to show, you can catch catfish with a variety of different fishing rods. I really can't see it murk. In the murk, murky water, yeah. That's a nice channel, hey? Yeah. Maybe 10? 
11. 10 or 11? I think so. Okay, decent fish, eh? Not as big as 18, but let's take a look at them. My bait pocket is just in the side of the mouth there, eh? Me yeah, it. take a look. Let's take a look at them. Leave the bait pocket there for a sec, because you know what? I think I might want a photo. Hey, that's a that's a nice channel cat. What do you think? Eleven? I think eleven. Eleven pounder? Yeah. Okay, maybe a quick photo for me, Antonio, and then we'll get this guy released. You know what, Antonio? That's easy, easy eleven pounds. Yeah, that's a good fish. If not more, it's relatively heavy, folks. My bait pocket, no worse for wear. Just hooked in the side of the mouth. Oh yeah, that's easy, easy 11 pounder right there. Relatively heavy, beautiful, gorgeous fish. We're gonna get him back in. Oh, look, look at the colors on the tail. The tail colors are beautiful. I don't know if you can see in that sunlight there. Oh, easy, easy 12. You wanna weigh him or what? Go for it. You know what, let's weigh this fish real quick. I'm just curious more than anything, Antonio. It is 12, 14, 12, 14, 12. So he's, it's an honest, I'm going to say it's close to 12, just shy of 12 pounds. And what did I say? What did oh, you say? 11 pounder. <laughs> you said 11. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to leave him right in the net and let him go. Uh, a good 12 pounder right there, folks. Okay. Oh, and away he goes. Nice little swirl. Here's the net, Antonio. Thank you for that. So, it looks like, folks, the bite is absolutely on today. And these bait pockets, well, they're doing their job like normal. I'm just going to re dip it into my mixture. Get it in there, get it rescented. So, instead of using an artificial scent or a purchase scent, we're using the natural scent today, folks. <laughs> okay. And it really, I didn't need to do that because it hasn't been in the water that long. But why not, right? Okay. Well, that was super exciting. I think we are off to an absolute fantastic start today, folks. Time to readjust the drag. <laughs> okay, Antonio, the six foot rod has struck again. <laughs> <laughs> we never had time to grab the camera for the hook set folks because this catfish just picked it up and he bolted oh now I don't know if it's bigger than that last one or what but he definitely gave me a better bite feels like it I don't know it feels like it might be bigger he's giving me those those typical head sways you know those channel cat head sways the classic so I'm glad I went with a heavier, heavier setup today. Oh, yeah. You know what, Antonio? Bigger fish. Uh, the head sways. You see how the, the the rod tip's just going woof, woof, yeah, woof. You know, the signs of a bigger fish. Now watch it be a small one, but it feels actually feels a little bit heavier. We shall see. Well, the bait pockets are definitely doing their job today, Antonio. We're releasing a lot of scent, folks, and I like that mixture I put together. I like putting livers in there, too. Livers, I think, they add a little bit of different scent. And if you can get fish livers, if you're ever cleaning fish for dinner table, ooh, 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 ooh. if you're cleaning fish for the dinner table, don't throw away those innards, those fish livers and, and hearts. Keep them, folks. Keep them. Put them in your bait pocket and use them. Did you get a look at him, Antonio? Not yet, no. I mean... He's staying down, so it's got to be bigger. I, I don't know. There's my T-turn. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's a good fish. And these T-turn bait rigs, oh. They keep you tangle free, which is really super nice. This is a good fish, folks. I got myself a bruiser. Now, I don't know if Antonio's an 18 pounder like yours, but it's, it's pretty big. It's 
big and thick. We're gonna get a weight on this fish too. If well, <laughs> you gotta get it in first. <laughs> He's not landed yet. Oh, look at the color on this fish. Big, big old gray old catfish. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. What do you think? Good one. Yeah, 15 maybe. Not quite. Not quite. Okay. He's got a big head. Look, big head. That's what I saw on the water, right? Like, oh my goodness. You know what? Just keep him in there for a second. Let's grab a quick weight on this fish. Got a really big head. He's got a huge head. Oh. Uh, 16, 15, 8, 12, 16, 16, 3. It's, I'm going to say, an honest 15 pounder. Take a pound off for the net. Wow, folks. Oh, two pounds shy of Antonio's. Just look at that. Just hooked in the side of the mouth. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's a nice chow kit. Antonio, two pounds shy of yours. Beautiful, beautiful. You know what? I'll grab a photo of this fish too. Quick photo and then we're going to do a release. Wow, look how wide and thick that fish is. <laughs> oh my folks. Look at the mouth. Look at the mouth on this fish. Just a big head, big mouth. My hand looks really small in comparison. Oh, that is a big, heavy fish. What a nice gentle cat, folks. This is unbelievable. Okay, he wants to go, and we're going to let him go. Okay. Oh. oh, look at the head. I can't believe the size of that head. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Big head. Hey, did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what made me think. I saw that big head coming out of the water. It's like, oh, my goodness, that's a big fish. Okay, well, my bait pocket is no worse for wear. I'm just gonna re-dip it, folks, and get it right back in the water again. There we have it. But you know what? This fishing for channel cats, folks. If you get an opportunity to get a big fish like that, what a riot, hey, Antonio? Beautiful fish. You just gotta love it. Yeah. And as I said, honestly, longer fishing rods are better, but if you have a lot of people only have one fishing rod, all-purpose rod. It's no problem for Channel Cat. Just make sure you use your drag with those shorter rods. Take less pressure off your line, and you're good to go. You know what, folks? Wherever you're tuning in from today, I want to thank you very much for spending time with the Boatless Angler and I on today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck. Good fishing. Wowzer. Well,